as a firefighter, we are exposed to carcinogens, and we really make an effort to reduce the risk of getting cancer one day. By participating in this, it is a way to give support and show support for other firefighters and raise awareness uh, to reduce carcinogens. Firefighters from across the world will be headed to Seattle on March 12th for the 32nd Annual Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Firefighter Stair Climb. And joining them will be Whitefish Fire Department's Jameson Smith. Uh, it's just one small way that I can give back and help find a cure. It definitely makes you feel closer to other firefighters, other, others that are fighting for the same thing. It builds a camaraderie amongst firefighters. Firefighters will climb 69 flights of stairs in the Columbia Center in Seattle, which equals 778 vertical feet, in full structural turnout gear and self-contained breathing apparatus. This is the largest on-air climb in the world. I usually train with all my gear on and on air because it's very important to control your breathing so that you don't run out of air too soon because you have to stay on air the entire time. Smith must raise $1,800 for the LLS to participate in the competition. If you would like to donate, you can search Jameson Smith's name at llswa.org to support him. While raising funds is a daunting task, so is the challenge of climbing 69 flights of stairs. It's a definitely a mental and physical challenge, but that's not why people do this event. They do it because all the proceeds and the donations uh, go to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. No matter who you are, we've all been affected by cancer. Whether we've had cancer ourselves personally, or we know someone that has. And this is just one small way that we can contribute towards a cure. In Whitefish, Kiana Wilson, MTN News.